Hello, good morning students. Today we are going to discuss a very very important topic, Human Development Index. In the video lecture, in the online lecture, we discuss what is human resource development, what is human development. The concept of human development is much broader, wider than the concept of human resource development we already discussed. Enlarge people choice, widens people choice. In this context, the concept of HDI, Human Development Index, is very, very important. Historically, it is said that the index was originally developed by Pakistani economist Mahbub ul Haq, well known economist, one of my favorite economists, Mahbub ul Haq. Dr. A.K. Sen, Amrit Sen. First Nobel Prize winner of an Indian economist who has also made a very, very important contribution in preparing Human Development Index. The UNDP, United Nations Development Program, has formulated the concept and since 1990, the uh, UNDP has declaring preparing Human Development, uh, releasing Human Development Report every year. The UNDP. To understand the concept of Human Development Index, we have to discuss three basic desires of a person. Every person, each person wants to live long and healthy life. This is his basic desire. Second, he wants to gain knowledge. He wants to be educated. And third, he wants to enjoy decent standard of living. These are the three basic desires. Political freedom, breed of uh, clean air, freedom of spe uh, speech, etc. etc. There are many desires. But these are the three basic desires of a person. And on the basis of these three desires, three criterion has been selected in preparing HDR. Human Development Index, two criteria are social criteria, health and education, and one criterion is economic criterion, standard of living. We will discuss. Dimension, goal cost of HDI. Dimension is health. An indicator is life expectancy. Huh? Life expectancy. So, कोई देश में अगर लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी बढ़ रही है उसका मतलब क्या है फॉर एग्जांपल व्हेन वी स्टार्टेड प्लानिंग एवरेज लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी ऑफ इंडिया इन इंडिया वाज जस्ट 32 इयर्स एंड नाउ डेज इन रिसेंट ईयर लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी हैज इंक्रीज अप टू 68 इयर्स व्हाट डस दिस इंडिकेट दिस इंडिकेट दैट there is a development of medical facilities. There is development of healthcare facilities. Huh? Death rate decline hua hoga. IMR decline hua hoga. MR, MMR decline hua. Tabhi ye possible hai ki life expectancy jo bad sakti hai. Getting my point? So the dimension is health and life expectancy is huh? this uh, indicator. We will discuss this later. Second, and here very very important points should be noted that uh, HDR is calculated on the basis of 0 to 1 scale. 0 to 1 scale. And individual indices can be computed, computed on the basis of a common formula. Actual value minus minimum value divided by maximum value minus minimum value. So, yeah, minimum value kitna hai? Minimum value is 20 years. And maximum value is 85 years. It means, agar koi country mein, kisi country ka life expectancy only 20 years aur usse kam hoga, to human development index mein uska score kitna hoga? Zero. On the other hand, if a country's life expectancy is 85 years and above, 
तो उसका कितना होगा वन फुल मार्क्स ओके वन गेटिंग माई पॉइंट इफ अ कंट्रीज लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी इज ट्वेंटी ईयर्स और लेस देन ट्वेंटी ईयर्स इन लाइफ इंडेक्स दिस हेल्थ इंडेक्स द स्कोर इज जीरो और ऑन द अदर हैंड अगर एटी फाइव ईयर्स एंड अबो होगा तो इन हेल्थ इंडेक्स इट इज वन किसी कंट्री का अगर फोर्टी होगा तो इस फॉर्मूला के हिसाब से अबाउट जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मैं पॉइंट दिस हाउ इंडिविजुअल इंडाइसिस कैन बी कंप्यूटेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ जनरल फॉर्म सेकेंड एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एजुकेशन इन द ओल्ड मैथर देर आर टू क्राइटेरिया ग्रॉस एनरोलमेंट रेशियो एंड एडल्ट लिटरेसी रेशियो इन आफ्टर टू थाउजेंड टेन दिस टू न्यू इंडिकेटर हैज बीन इंट्रोड्यूस एक्सपेक्टेड ईयर्स ऑफ स्कूलिंग एंड सेकेंड इज मीन ईयर्स ऑफ स्कूलिंग Now, what is expected year of of schooling? Number of years during which a two years old child can expect to spend in schooling based on school enrollment ratio. मतलब अलग अलग countries में अलग अलग enrollment ratio होता है. हाँ, this is the common selected two years old child, nursery, kg, हाँ, pre-primary, primary education, secondary education, etc. मतलब कोई एक बच्चा जब स्कूल में एनरोल हो वो कितने साल तक एजुकेशन लेगा टू ईयर बीच टू इयर्स ओल्ड चाइल्ड कैन एक्सपेक्ट टू स्पेंड इन स्कूलिंग हर और ही इज एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ स्कूलिंग दिस इज नोन एज एक्सपेक्टेड इयर्स ऑफ स्कूलिंग उसमें मिनिमम कितना है ऑब्वियसली जीरो एंड मैक्सिमम कितना है एटीन जीरो तो हो ही नहीं सकता so if a country's expected year of schooling is 18 years and above in education index the score of the country will be 1 okay and here very very important points to be noted there is a difference between expected years of schooling and mean years of schooling mean year of schooling matlab average number of completed years of education of country's population age 25 years and older एवरेज नंबर ऑफ कंप्लीटेड एजुकेशन कितने लोगों ने एजुकेशन कंप्लीट किया है उसमें सारा पॉपुलेशन है 25 फाइव ईयर्स एंड ओल्डर हम अगर यूएनडीपी की वेबसाइट पे जाएंगे तो उसमें हम लोग वी विल कम टू नो डेट दे हैव डिवाइडेड इन द मैथोलॉजी ऑफ कैलकुलेटिंग मीन ईयर्स ऑफ स्कूलिंग दे हैव डिवाइडेड इन टू मैनी सेगमेंट्स नो स्कूलिंग सम स्कूलिंग प्री प्राइमरी प्राइमरी स्कूलिंग सेकेंडरी स्कूलिंग हायर सेकेंडरी स्कूलिंग एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा सो ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स एंड ओल्डर कंट्री के कितने लोगों ने एजुकेशन कंप्लीट किया है दैट इज नोन एस मीन ईयर ऑफ स्कूलिंग एम रिपिंग एवरेज नंबर ऑफ कंप्लीटेड ईयर्स ऑफ एजुकेशन ऑफ कंट्रीज पॉपुलेशन एज ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स एंड ओल्डर सो वैन वी डिस्कस in the context of indian economy there is a huge difference between expected year of schooling and mean year of schooling we will come to know third and very important standard of living standard of living matlab g and i per capita 1000 dollar huh? 2011 is a base year purchasing power parity huh? and 75000 dollar maximum minimum value is $100 maximum value is $75000 but the word is ppp purchasing power parity on the basis of purchasing power parity we have already discussed this theory in second year bcom purchasing power theory the absolute version was developed by given by professor john wheatley and relative version was given by professor gustav s what is purchasing power parity theory huh? purchasing power when we are exchanging currency of one country with currency of other country 
what actually we are ex exchanging purchasing power of one currency is exchange with purchasing power of other currency why we want to hold money because money has got the power which power purchasing power जब हम दूसरे कंट्री के साथ एक्सचेंज करते हैं तो हम लोग क्या एक्सचेंज कर दे परचेजिंग पावर सो एक्सचेंज रेट कहां डिटरमिन होना है एज पर दिस थियरी एक्सचेंज रेट कहां डिटरम वेर परचेजिंग पावर ऑफ टू कंट्रीज आर इक्वल इट इज द पैरिटी और इट इज द इक्वालिटी ऑफ परचेजिंग पावर विच शुड डिटरमिन एक्सचेंज रेट दिस द क्रक्स ऑफ दिस थियरी परचेजिंग पावर I am giving an example. Suppose a product is available in US, ten dollar. Price of a product is ten dollar in US, and same product or similar product is available in India, rupees three hundred. So, जो product जो जो US में ten dollar में मिल रहा है, वही same product India में three hundred rupees में मिल रहा है. So, as per the theory, one dollar is equal to Whatever the market rate, market rate one dollar is equal to seventy five rupees, huh? Seventy four rupees doesn't matter. मगर purchasing power parity के हिसाब से यहाँ क्या हो जाएगा? One dollar is equal to thirty rupees. Why? Because the product which is available at dollar ten, same product or similar product is available in India at rupees two hundred. So purchasing power of ten dollar. Is equal to purchasing power of rupees three hundred in India. So this is the reason why India is the third largest economy of the world in terms of purchasing power. So ये क्या indicate करेगा real purchasing power. So here also zero to one. If a country's G A and G N I per capita वो hundred और hundred से कम होगी so the score will be zero and the country's per capita income is more than $75,000 so $75,000 in uh, this index it will get one marks okay so this is how the HDI can be calculated so in the next video we will discuss how HDI can be calculated Huh? On the basis, we will take an example, and S D I कैसे गिना जाए, वो will we will discuss. Okay, I am repeating. The concept was originally developed by Professor Mahbub Ul Haq. Indian economist Professor A K Sen has also made an important contribution in preparing S D I. U N D P is preparing human development reports and other reports since nineteen ninety nine. these are the goal post of uh, hdi health index education index and standard of living index okay. that's all for today